All right, welcome to my upgrade table location guide. So, if you weren't aware, in the new season here in Fortnite Chapter 2, we've got these upgrade tables or upgrade stations. And basically, for your own materials, you can upgrade a rarity. So, for example, gray to green, green to blue, blue to purple, and so on. You can even get gold weapons. But, like I said, it costs your own material. So I'm going to be showing you every single location on the map of where to find these and then we'll do a few examples just so you can see how much materials it'll cost. All right, so let me just give you an overview of how this works. So basically, you walk up to one of these with the weapon you want to upgrade and it will display to you how much it costs to upgrade. So to go from gray to green, you need 150 materials. So that's not too bad. Well worth it in my opinion. Then, if you have a green weapon, to go from green to blue, you need 150 of each material. So that's 450 mats. To go from blue to purple, you need 250 of each material. That's 750 mats. Now that is stretching it just a bit, but it gets worse from there. Finally, to go from purple to gold, you need 350 of each material. That's 1,050 materials to upgrade from a purple to a gold weapon. So they definitely balance this out. That's a lot of mats to spend for an upgrade. Now I personally use this all the time to go from gray to green, especially in the early game. 150 materials, that's not too bad. Going from blue to purple or purple to gold, that's just, mm, maybe if you got 999 of all mats or you hit a llama or something, then I think it would be worth it. So here is the first location right here. This is on a secluded island just north of Pleasant Park and it's in the wooden shack right here. This is the first location of several. All right, the next location is in Craggy Cliffs. There is a little workshop right here. Here's the cliffs section right over here. That's the beach area. You come up here past this yellow canoe and there's a little workshop right here. And you can see it right here. This is the exact location right here, just a little past that S in cliffs right there. All right, the next upgrade table is right here. This is the EGO Science Station, and it's just to the left of Pleasant Park, but I just wanted to show you real quick before I show you on the map. It's on the ground floor, so I think this is a three-story building, and you just come in here, and it's in the very corner right here. Like I said, just left of Pleasant Park right here. Now, believe it or not, Pleasant Park has an upgrade table, and it's in everyone's favorite gas station. Pleasant Park is pretty much the same as it was in Season or chapter one, rather, except for this, the upgrade table in the gas station. So that's nice and convenient. And the exact location is right here on the eastern side of Pleasant Park. The next upgrade table you'll find in our beloved Risky Reels. Although, what's this place called? Let's see what it's called when we land. It's called, oh, it is Risky Reels. I thought they changed the name to something different. So you can find the upgrade table right here next to this white shack. It's right here. So here's the exact location. It's on the right side of Risky Reels, and Risky Reels is just to the left of Frenzy Farm, right there. All right, the next upgrade table is right here in our Junk Junction clone. This place is called, what is this called? Compact Cars, I believe. So there's a garage right here with this car underneath it. And if we go right inside here, you can see the upgrade table sitting just inside. So the exact location is right here, just to the left or west of Dirty Docks. Junkyard is right here. Table is right there. All right, the next table is at the EGO staging post. Oh, sounds like we've got somebody in here. Yes, we do. Get out of my face, Thunder. Jeez Louise. All right. I shouldn't have done this in a live match, huh? Aha, so here it is, right in the middle of this complex building right here. You can see it. Right in the corner here, this is the exact location. This is the EGO staging post, and it's just north of Dirty Docks. Oh, it takes a few seconds too, I didn't know that. 
Okay, that was pretty cool. I like that. All right, so I just wanted to show that the tables don't always spawn. So there's supposed to be one right about here. In fact, I think it's right where this mark is, but it's not spawning. So I'm gonna have to go into Playground and show you the exact location here, but I wasn't aware of this, so this is good to note, that they don't always spawn. It's just like the vending machines. They're not permanent. It's probably a 50-50 chance that they spawn, but this is where it should be on the northern aspects of Dirty Docks, and it's not there. All right, so here I am in playground mode, and as you can see, I guess I was a little off. It's not right there on the mark. It's right here. So like I said, it doesn't always spawn, but here is the one at Dirty Docks in the northern aspect. The next location is actually in a house. There's this big white house just northwest of Holly Hedges. And here's the garage right here. If you break through the garage, you can see the upgrade station is right here. Now, I'm not sure why this part of the map isn't showing up for me. I've been here several times, but this is Holly Hedges, and just northwest is the White House right here, and it's on top of this hill right where I am, kind of southwest of Sweaty Sands as well. Next up is Flopper Pond. This is a landmark location, and if you come up this way towards this green house, for some reason or another, there is an upgrade table in this house. So this makes this a great landing spot. I mean, it doesn't have many chests in here, but you can do some fishing out here and then you can harvest some materials and then upgrade right here. And this is just east of Holly Hedges, right here, right next to this big pond. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of these crafting tables near Holly Hedges because in this EGO hangar, this big hangar just southwest, you can find yet another upgrade station right here. So there's tons by Holly Hedges. And here's the exact location right here. It's just southwest. Next up, we have Log Jam Woodworks. This is one of my favorite places to land in the game because there's about 1,400, 1,400 plus wood in this place. This is absolutely ridiculous. And if you come in here, there is a table right here in the corner of, well, this is the Log Jam factory itself. And let's show you the exact location right here on the minimap. Kind of smack dab in the middle of the factory here in Log Jam. Next up is Weeping Woods. If you look at my minimap in the top right, right below the double O in Woods is where we want to be. And this little shack right here, right next to the big log cabin. If you break into the garage, lo and behold, there is an upgrade table right here in the garage. And there's also some fishing poles right here if you need to fish. But this is the exact location right here. Now on this map, it's not near the double O's. It's only when you're zoomed out that that works as a landmark. But right here in this camping area is the exact location. The next table is located in Slurpee Swamps and it's in this brick building right here. And it's actually on the upper floor. So you come through the door, you pass this weird mechanical spin thing and come up here and the upgrade table is right here. And the exact location is right here on the western side on this northernmost peak, right here in Slurpee Swamps. Next up is the Hydro 16 landmark in here. This is basically the giant dam right there. And in this garage, these seem to be found in garages a lot, but in this one right here, you can find the table right through here. I guess there's a door. Let's see where this leads. We should lead to the, yeah. So this brick little garage building in here and the upgrade table is right here. The exact location is on the right side of the dam. And this is just east of, what is that? Slurpee Swamp, right here. Next up is the EGO Com Tower. These EGO places usually always have a table for some reason or another. So if you come up to the main structure, it's in the center of this, go up the stairs and through the door here, and it should be right about, I think I passed it, yes, it's right by the door, right here. And the exact location is just southwest of Misty Meadows, right here, it's a small location, a landmark on the map, kinda in the middle of nowhere. All right, the second to last one is located here on Camp Cod. And there's a warehouse on the right side of the island here. And if you come through the backside, as you can see, here's the ocean. If you come through this backside, you can see the table right here. And the exact location is on the far right of the Camp Cod 
island, right here on the right side. Now there's one more left. Now the last upgrade table is found in retail row and it's right under the water tower. So if you go through the chain fence right here into this building, there it is. The beloved water tower in retail row has an upgrade table. So here is the exact location, southeast aspect of retail row. So that's 18 upgrade tables on the map that I personally found. If you know of any more locations, let me know in the comments. Let everyone else know. Otherwise, I'm going to show you a map here for about 15 to 20 seconds, showcasing all 18 locations. Now, I could have just showed you this map. However, it's best to see someone actually go to them. Because you could circle anywhere on this map and people would still get lost because they don't know the precise location. It's best to see someone actually visit the location and show you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.